why your feelings don't matter. All right, so hey everyone, today I'm gonna be discussing a bit of a controversial topic, but I think it's one that needs to be discussed anyway, uh, because I see this going wrong a lot of the times. Uh, first though, before I start going into this stuff, uh, let me just put a quick disclaimer on this video, which is if obviously if you've been diagnosed by a psychologist or a psychiatrist with actual clinical depression, of course, this video, it does not apply to you. Uh, but for most people that haven't been officially diagnosed, this does. So just hear me out on this one. Uh, so to start off with it, let me just grab an example from my own life, which is my social media. So the stuff that I'm doing now. Uh, obviously, I'm not as big as I could be in that, in that regard, but I have grown a lot on these platforms and I have actually been doing really good. So I wanted to share this story about that stuff basically. So, uh, two years ago I started posting on Instagram, uh, but while I was on vacation thinking, you know, I could actually probably make this work if I really, really wanted to. So I tried and I started posting every single day, no exceptions, and I have been doing so for the past two, two and a half years. Um, my point about this is, in the beginning, nothing happens. You post, you get a couple likes, you get a couple video views, you get nothing. And that stays that way, at least in my case, for a very, very long time, like a year or so. Basically nothing happened. And sometimes you even wake up and you lost some followers or you lost some, you know, it just didn't grow, whatever. A normal person, a normal person, I guess, uh, would listen to their feelings say, you know what, this isn't working, this isn't for me, people don't care about what I have to say, let me just knock it off and stop doing this altogether. And I also felt like that for a couple times, of course. Sometimes I felt like, you know what, never mind, uh, this is never gonna go anywhere, but you know, I, I'm committed to this now, so let's just post one more time and see how I feel tomorrow. Well, you know, that's the mindset that sometimes you just need to have. You just need to do it anyway, even though you don't really feel like doing so. This is partially why feelings don't matter as much as you actually think they do. So, basically it didn't grow. And of course, uh, lately, the last couple of months, or month and a half, I should say, after posting for consistently every single day for two years, so over 700 times, um, one of the two couple videos went viral and not even like the big viral but the for me that's pretty damn impressive viral hitting over 100k views uh, so now my follower count has grown quite significantly but that's only after two and a half years of persistence and not giving up on this goal so like i said normally if you would have been going for like two years for something and didn't see much results you would quit and that's why feelings don't matter as much in this regard, for me at least, and this is how I came to this conclusion as well. So, what I'm trying to explain to you guys is take a deep look at yourselves. In what part of your life are you, you know, kind of giving yourself a free pass, basically. You know, oh, you know, this isn't for me. Um, I'm not built for this. This is just isn't my thing. Uh, let's just knock it off regardless, even though, even though you kind of know you do want it in the first place. For me, that social media was one thing that I really, really wanted. I wanted to be a social media person since I was like 14. Uh, knocked it off for the same reasons as I uh, just described and started doing it again since I was 22. So I knocked it off for like a long time, which is why I know you will regret it if you don't, because just imagine how much further I could have been if I just stuck with it since I was 14. But that's neither here or there, so let's just leave that to the side. Uh, the point is, take a look at yourself. I know there's one point in your life, maybe two, maybe three, maybe a thousand, I don't know, but at least one point in your life where you're doing this as well. You're thinking, oh, I don't feel like doing so, so let's just knock it off, so let's just not do it at all. Uh, that could be getting into shape, that could be uh, having a conversation with someone that you really, really, really don't want to have, that could be asking, uh, you know, getting a better job or getting a new job because you really hate the job you're doing now, uh, get, fixing your food, fixing your sleep schedule, it could be a whole bunch of things, uh, but this is why there's always one thing in your life where you're doing this. 
And this is why I want you to take a critical look at yourself and actually look yourself in the mirror and go explore. See what's, what's my thing. What's my thing that I'm not doing, that I should be doing, that I need to fix and I don't. So if you, fi yeah, if you figure out what your thing is, then of course start fixing it. And don't stop trying to fix it until you actually achieve your goal. Some days you're not gonna feel like it. Just think about it, going to the gym. Some days you're not gonna feel like going. You're tired, you've had a long day at work. Uh, you, you, you're not feeling great, you just had a shitty day and you're not gonna feel like doing so. But guess what? Nobody cares, you gotta go anyway. It's your goal, it's your mission, you've set it for yourself. So just saying, oh, I don't feel like going so today, I'll just go tomorrow is weak. This is an excuse, it's a pathetic excuse for you not to go. You just don't want to, just, and you just gotta go anyway, because whether you go or you don't go, you're gonna end up regretting not going all the time. If you don't go, you're gonna regret it. And if you do go, you might regret not sitting on the couch, you know, oh, I could have been on the couch the entire time you're there. But at least you don't have the regret of knowing that you purposely skipped something that you should do. And that kind of erodes your reputation with yourself as well because you said you were going to do something and you didn't. So basically what you did, if you listen to your feelings and your feelings say I don't want to do something and you don't, you're lying to yourself. Because you do want it, you just don't feel like doing so today. But Later on on the couch, you're gonna feel bad about it because you didn't do it. Later during the night, when you're laying in bed, you're like, oh, I didn't do it anyway, I'll just do it tomorrow. But tomorrow comes, you're gonna have another busy day and you're gonna not feel like doing so again. So put your feelings aside, knock it off and start doing the things you should do. One, it's gonna give you a ton more energy regardless because you're actually doing stuff that you want to do, you need to do and you like to do. The second thing is it's gonna progress you so much further in life than not doing it could ever do because you're pushing yourself, you're probably doing some stuff you don't wanna do which is gonna make you a better, more resilient human being which is something that's important anyway. Knock it off Siri, not now. Um, so that's, those are the kinds of things that you should be doing to push yourself and to actually better yourself as a person. The more you don't wanna do something then it's probably best if you do especially if it's for your own self-improvement. So, basically the whole conclusion of this video to make it easy, because I've been rambling on about this for a while now, is your feelings are lying to you. They just are. They're just lying to you, they're th saying that you shouldn't do something, but the only reason why they're saying that is because it's your body's internal desire for comfort. But nothing ever grows while you're comfortable. You need to go out of your comfort zone, push yourself, get hard, you know, get, get hard as a human being, get strong, build a foundation and go from there. Don't be a pussy. Don't listen to your feelings because you're tired. Don't listen to your feelings because you might be a bit hungry and you want to go to, and you, you know, you want to eat a pizza, but you promised yourself you were going to shred down. Don't be that guy. Don't be that girl. Uh, even though my demographic probably is going to tell you you're a guy. But to be fair, just don't be that guy. Be proud of yourself by doing the things you should be doing, not the things you always want to do. So with that being said though, do remember, always remember that it's your responsibility to get better every single day.